I want to give a warm welcome to parents, grandparents, uncles, aunts, children, mentors. Those are all the people uh, in David Chataway's window there, apparently. Friends, and especially to you, the graduating class of 2021. So congratulations. If you don't know me, my name is Malcolm Baker, and I met the legendary Section A for the first time uh, 619 days ago uh, on September 16th, 2019 in Aldrich 111. And at precisely 10.50 a.m., I turned to Luis Ramos and I asked him a simple question. I said, how is Mark Butler doing? And Luis, he was calm, but he was serious. Uh, and you know, this is the benefit of scribes. We have the exact quote. He says, Butler lumber is running perilously low on cash. Receivables are ballooning. His line of credit is all but exhausted and the business is now solely reliant on its suppliers to carry on. In short, Mark Butler is not doing well. I do wish that Luis had also warned us about the impending pandemic and how it would wreak havoc on the lumber supply chain, but I suppose that's forgivable. So I could tell right at that moment that section A was firing on all cylinders. Uh, and with that start section A, you were off. You studied finance and accounting, lead in Biggie, Tom and Tem, strategy, marketing, LCA. And more importantly, you studied each other all here on the Zoom gallery that I can see. Uh, and apparently you bonded as a section. Uh, you're bonded together right now in many of these windows. And the bond was on display for me uh, when I went to Flag Day with more than 40 countries represented from Angola and Bulgaria to Taiwan and Turkey. The bond was on display in my takes where you shared openly and listened compassionately. And most importantly, the bond was on display each and every class where you created an environment of supportive and engaged learning. And 94 previously unconnected individuals became the famous, the legendary Section A of 2021. So Section A knows me as somewhat, or you know me somewhat, uh, uh, as a comic who hides strategically behind a dry wit. Uh, but today I'm going to try something new and completely foreign to me. I'm going to risk actually being earnest. It's a new thing for me. Uh, but what I have to say is kind of from the heart. So it's such an honor to be with you on this momentous occasion. I'm obviously very sad that right now we aren't basking on Baker Beach. I'm glad to see that Greg is basking in Stoughton. Uh, it's a beautiful day outside today. But I would say a COVID silver lining for me uh, is that I have this opportunity right now, the tremendous good fortune to preside over the conferral of diplomas to you, Section A. I don't think that opportunity would be available to me in a normal year. Uh, and I've taught at Harvard Business School for about 21 years now. I'm, I'm right at the half point, halfway point. I think I'm going to teach here for 21 uh, more years before they kind of put me out to pasture. Uh, so in all likelihood, in those 42 years, that will be the one and only time that I have this privilege to make a special connection to a treasured section. So the effects of COVID have been mostly pretty terrible, you know, socially, economically, politically, but there have been some silver linings. And for me, you know, being right here with you now, uh, at least virtually with the chance to celebrate you uh, is a huge one. So we're also here today to celebrate two families. Uh, one old family and one new one for you. The first is the family uh, that raised you, whoever that may be, perhaps sitting next to you today or joining us from a distance. Usually starts with you and your siblings and spans back uh, to your parents or your grandparents and beyond, spans across uh, to your cousins, your aunts and uncles. Uh, and eventually for some of you, your family spans ahead to your children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren. So I can see, I'm looking for some families there in the gallery, I can see some uh, there, uh, all smiles. And 
families are not perfect. There's occasional irritations and disagreements, uh, cantankerous uncles maybe, uh, estranged cousins. But through it all, uh, these, these smiling people here today, uh, they've nurtured and encouraged you. Maybe not perfectly, uh, but with pure intention uh, and unconditional love. You wouldn't be sitting here without their tremendous support. So if you have the opportunity, take the time today to express your gratitude uh, and your debt to them. So I wanna offer my thanks uh, as well to those of you uh, supporters and family members uh, out there. At Harvard Business School, we're so fortunate to have a beautiful campus with buildings named Aldrich and Klarman and Spangler and Chow. Uh, and I walked by them today. They're all dressed up in their finest May weather uh, for graduation today with the landscaping, you know, even more carefully manicured than usual. But these buildings are nothing without you, the students inside. So I'd like to thank the families here today for providing the critical seeds that sustain this institution uh, that I love. So it's not a perfect institution to be sure, uh, but it's one that evolves to meet the challenges of the moment that needs you, the new students with the new ideas. It's not our buildings that make a difference. Uh, to the families out there, it's your children uh, or maybe your grandchildren or your brother or your sister sitting next to you. You know, thank you for sharing section A with us. So now a couple words to section A. Uh, so to section A, your families uh, are so, so proud of you, uh, of all that you've accomplished, you know, obviously not today, but throughout your life. Uh, and much more importantly, not of what you've accomplished, but of, of who you are as people. And I'm not saying this in the abstract, I know it deeply in my heart. I know it because my treasured section A is graduating here today. But I also know it because my son graduates from high school two weeks from today. So I'm going through some of these same uh, parental emotions and I'm so proud of him. So I'll use the word we in the sense that we nurtured you. Uh, so part of our pride uh, in seeing you here today uh, is in a job well done. We worked hard, we sacrificed, we hoped and dreamed and taught and counseled and watched and listened. We sometimes cried from your pain or from our joy. Some nights we were up anxious, some mornings it was hard to wake up, we were exhausted. It was not always easy, but it was 100% worth it. So, but I wanna say that that's not the whole story behind our pride or my pride in my son. You're much more than that. You're much more than a job well done. You're so much more. And the way I describe that is we're most proud in those kind of precious and magical moments. You know, first in your infancy, then childhood and increasing in frequency uh, into adolescence and your early adult years. What do I mean by those moments? I think the parents in the gallery might know what I mean. These are kind of the moments where you in section A did, uh, you know, or what you said or how high you jumped or ran or the way you laughed uh, or danced that was somehow like wholly unexpected and wonderful. Something that couldn't be connected simply and linearly to who we are uh, and how we raised you. I, I so wish and, and we wish we could take credit in some sense for those moments of interesting and new uh, of brilliance in you. But instead, you know, when I look at you and when I look at my children, it seems a bit like divine intervention or some kind of miracle of human evolution in the sense that you're more sophisticated and more wise uh, and often uh, more self-possessed than, you know, than we can rightly understand. There's like a spark in you that we can't completely explain. When you exceed our expectations in some way or you eclipse us uh, in ways that we don't understand physically or intellectually or emotionally. So in the micro, these moments with you are really what make the classroom at HBS come alive for me. I just don't, you know, I don't know what's gonna happen when I walk into Aldrich. And so I do so with the same excitement that I did 21 years ago for the very first time. I've learned so much from you, from those moments uh, of insight, even though I'm teaching the same material that come from our discussions as a group or one-on-one. -on -one. Socrates, it turns out, uh, devised a pretty good method uh, for keeping both students and uh, instructors engaged in the learning process. 
in the macro, when I think about those moments in you, it just gives me so much hope uh, and aspiration for the possibility of the future, for what you can accomplish, Section A. So that's the family that raised you, you know, beaming with pride here today. What I want to do in addition is to welcome you into another family. You know, you're already very much a part of it, but I want to welcome you into the HBS family. Like your nuclear family, it starts right here with section A, your HBS siblings in some sense, but it spans across the other sections this year, back to supportive alumni and forward to future generations who will walk through these halls of Hawes and eat at Harvard Square, exercise at Shad, hopefully on the ergometer. But just like all families, HBS is not perfect, far from it. We have a wonderful mission to make a difference in the world. And we, you know, your HBS family are striving uh, in uneven ways towards that goal. In new, sometimes creative methods now, and we always will be. So like the family that raised you, we've tried to nurture you to support you. And today we celebrate you as graduates of the class of 2021. In that sense, it might feel today to you like somewhat of an ending. Uh, and that, that might feel bittersweet, particularly what we've all been through you know, over the past uh, 15 months or so. But this is the secret, is your path together has just barely begun. You know, this is really the beginning, not the end. You've learned so much, and not just the capital asset pricing model or the Black-Scholes formula, as important as those are to your future success. But you've learned really how to learn, how to question conventional wisdom, how to make connections between disciplines, how to find humanity in business, and really in section A, how to build a diverse community. But you're not done, right? You must keep learning. And I wanna say in two ways, in kind of small steps and then kind of giant leaps, this is what will happen to you. So. The world is changing fast. You know, think about like a computer science, a computer scientist who once needed to understand the mainframe. You know, now it's the PC and then the internet. Uh, and finally, recently it's AWS, the blockchain, deep learning. I just like saying deep learning. The neurosurgeon must renew, you know, her skills with the latest tools. These days it's guided imaging and lasers. You need to be on top of the data to understand the most efficacious approaches built on recent evidence of what works where, when, and why. And these are small steps. In small steps, whatever it is your area of focus or interest, you too must keep yourself on the cutting edge. So that's the one part that's kind of the small, like it's just continuous learning in some field. So the world's changing fast, but you are going to change as well. And that's kind of where the giant leaps come in. You know, you're here at HBS as general managers, not as a pure computer scientist, typically, or a neurosurgeon. Uh, you might go from analyst to manager to the C-suite to CEO. Maybe you're switching from one industry to another and then another. You know, maybe you're an entrepreneur and you're simultaneously a marketer, an accountant, a mentor, a visionary, a hiring manager, and even a travel agent. So these aren't the small steps of refining your technical skills to go from one level to the next, to go from working on problems to managing big teams of people. These are kind of the giant leaps of reinvention that you're going to need to make. They're changing you know, who you are as much as what you know through time. And that, that process is just beginning. So I can report that HBS has prepared you well for this second category of frequent reinvention. You may be disappointed that we didn't train you well enough in Excel, I know I am, uh, or double entry bookkeeping. But we've anticipated these more distant and profound possibilities for you. And we've been planning for your ongoing professional growth. We've imagined that many of you will be senior managing partners or founder CEOs. And so as often as three times a day, you know, getting exercise, we placed you in these very big shoes as protagonists. 
In each of these, you are facing complex and multifaceted business problems. And what you might say at this point, you might be inclined to point out, this does have some downsides. I've heard occasionally that HBS graduates in some circles have a bad reputation. I'm not sure what the right expression is. You know, maybe it's, we're a bit too big for our britches. I think wearing robes like this one may not help. I'm not sure. Uh, but I think this characterization is mostly uh, unfair. But as with many stereotypes, there is a small grain of truth in that. And if you want to blame someone, you know, someone, someone's messing with you, you know, blame me. The HBS faculty in some sense made you that way. But let me also say that this is a feature, not a bug in our system. You will be leaders, if not right now, then very soon. And you will be prepared then to make those big leaps of reinvention. You know, you want to work your way in that direction, but you're very ready for those challenges. And I'm so excited about that. Your HBS family and section A, most of all, all of you here will be by your side to support you, to encourage you to pursue your dreams, to aim high, to build on your strengths, and also to fill in the gaps and spot your vulnerabilities, to catch you when you fall, only to help you rise again. So section A, I can report that you have two pretty amazing families uh, to work with. Uh, and let me tell you this, you 100% deserve them. You're not at all finished with the journey, but you very much belong on this journey of leadership. You may have felt in, like uh, an imposter on day one, that's always possible when I met you 619 days ago. But I can assure you today that if you were not already maestros then, I can say today you are masters, literally masters of business administration. Before we formally celebrate you in that sense, let me just give the floor to my friend and colleague, uh, Jan Rivkin, the Dean of our MBA program, who's just outside my perch in the Klarman Auditorium. Take it away for me, Jan. Congratulations again to the class of 2021. You are now officially HPS graduates. You know, graduation day is my favorite day of the year. I love seeing our students so happy. I love seeing their families and friends so rightly proud of their graduates and so excited about their bright futures. And we now come to my favorite part of my favorite day of the year, the diploma ceremony, where we recognize each and every member of your section. As members of the class of 2021 are recognized, you'll hear mention of three kinds of honors. The first is distinction. This is for students who earned academic honors in both the first year and the second year of our program. The second is high distinction. These individuals not only earned honors in the first year and the second year, they also had combined academic performance that placed them in the top 5% of their class as a whole. These students were also known as George F. Baker scholars, commemorating the individual whose generosity in the 1920s allowed us to build the campus. I invite you to look at the Baker Scholars page on the graduation website to learn more about the legacy of George Baker and this particular distinction. Third and last, but by no means least, the Dean's Award. The Dean's Award celebrates the extraordinary achievements of graduating students who during their time at HBS made distinctive contributions to Harvard, to Harvard Business School, or the broader community. These students have contributed to the well-being of others through amazing acts of leadership. Students and all members of the community nominate these individuals, and then Dean Tatar makes the final selection. So please enjoy the diploma ceremony, celebrate each and every member of your session. I hope that your session will remain close through the years as mine has. And I hope that these two years at HBS will be just the beginning of an ongoing conversation among you as you enjoy long, happy years of making differences that are meaningful to you and meaningful for the world. Be well and stay close. Thank you, Jan. 
I'll admit we're back here in the auditorium of Clarman, and I will admit, Jan, that you look better in your regalia than I do. But you know, I'm doing the best with what I've got. Uh, so this is the moment of truth where all those assembled here today formally acknowledge and celebrate the tireless work, dedication, resilience, resilience in the face of a global pandemic, uh, and the intellectual achievements of each member of Section A. In my own graduation from Harvard 21 years ago, I spent most of the time thinking about how not to trip as I walked across the stage. As much as you might miss that combination of joy and dread, we have a different kind of value proposition for you today as you sit more quietly with your family uh, or in the case of David Chataway, a bit more loudly with friends as you hear each name and see each photo. I'm gonna encourage you to take a moment to think how this person on the screen made an impact on you, large or small. What did you learn or experience while you were here in their company? And how did that shape who you are today as you move on to the next chapter of your life? Zoom has taken away a lot, uh, and I'm so sad that we can't be together, but this moment, Zoom can give us a bit back of this meditation on our two transformative years. So here they are, your child or grandchild or sibling, uh, and importantly, here they are, your section mates. Uh, take this in and please appreciate each one. Sadib Abdullah. Akshay Amin, high distinction. <laughs> David Arbelais Garcia, distinction. <laughs> Kemal Armada. Kemal. <laughs> Prerna Arya, distinction. Will Bain. <laughs> Yeah, babe. Yeah, babe. Nicholas Bosch. <laughs> Kathy Baskin. <laughs> Noam Bensor. Mary Ashley Bowles. Joao Borba Rodriguez. Clayton Callender. Tie on everything. Scott Kara. Hey, Scott. Scott. Okay. Laura Carlson. Yeah, Laura. David Chataway. <laughs> Joy Chen. <laughs> Rebecca Sink. <laughs> Marcos Coelho <laughs> Samantha Cohen Can you with me? Oh, is that right? Mike Cox yeah! Oh, Mike, Mike. <laughs> Joachim de Belgique. Joachim! That's your friends. <laughs> Nisha Desai. <laughs> Lorenzo Enriquez. Hey, Lorenzo. Sam Inuma. Sam. Zachary Erickson. 
Look at that bow tie. Oh, oh, yeah, Kennedy. Anna Stella Fita. Distinction. Yeah, Anna. Stella Fita. Distinction. Yeah, Anna. <laughs> Evan Firestein. Distinction. Yeah. Yeah. Evan. Smarty pants. Rodolfo <laughs> Finocchi. Woo! Rodolfo. Woo! Rodolfo. Rodolfo. Kenny Freedy. Yeah, Freedy. Maria Getsova. Oh. Woo! Woo! Burgess Godrage. For Burgess. For Burgess. For Apoor Goyal. PDP. Adam Greenstein. Yeah! Oh, Adam. Camille Gregory. Oh, Camille. Camille. Joanne Gutwinski. Distinction. Hey, Joanne. Woo! Barrett Hansen. <laughs> Michael Harland. Go Harland! Yeah, Harland! Ida Hachue. Yeah, Ida. <laughs> Grace He. <laughs> James Heffelfinger. James. Heffelfinger. Toby Idogo. That's Toby. Anna Ike. Distinction. Anna. Okasha Iqbal. Oh. Nicole Kreuter. <laughs> Kevin Lee. Let's go! Okay! Kane Bot! Nicole Mao. Woohoo! Nicole! Greg McDouglas. Oh, Greg. Woo! Alec Mead. Go, oh, me! Hi. Johannes Moll. Yeah, Jojo. Janina Motter. Augustia. Mutana. Ali Neenan. <laughs> Carl and Jame. Oh, Avery Pan. Avery. Simon Parujoglu. Oh, Simon. Woo. Avni Patel. Woo! Got me! Emma Pang. Kimberly Pirtle Gabriel. <laughs> Linda Chin <laughs> Luis Ramos Ramos yeah, Luis. Oh, Luis John Roberts Oh John Woo. Karina 
Rodriguez. Laura Elizabeth Sandoval. Marcus Schwartz. Hazy boy. Reginald Seawright. Let's go, Reginald. I read it all. Carlin Shapiro. Oh, go, Carlin. Carlin. Lucy Shaw, high distinction. <laughs> Heidi Shin. <laughs> Diana Senukova. <laughs> Jose Smith. <laughs> <laughs> Oscar Talamas. Oscar. Carcito. Oscar. Mike Tal. <laughs> Yawin Tao. Is that before or after? Roxanne Tully. <laughs> Roxanne. Amy Varney. <laughs> Amy! Jamie Wasserman. Yeah, Jamie! Let's go, Jamie! Sylvester Wee. Chen Wei, distinction. Carrie Williams. Jesse Winfield. Let's go, Jesse. Yuki Yaguchi. Yuki, arigato matai Yeah, Yuki. <laughs> Dylan Zabel. Yeah, Dylan. So heartwarming. It gave me chills also made me realize that I am still mispronouncing your names on many occasions. I apologize for that. But back to the matter at hand here. By the powers vested in me, by Jan Rivkin, by Srikant Tatar, by Larry Bacow, by Charlie Baker, by Joe Biden, and of course, by Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos. I pronounce you Masters of Business Administration from Harvard University, Cheers to the class of 2021. Congratulations, Section A. We're so incredibly happy here today. Switch to gallery mode now. Come on, Section A. Let's go. I want to hear all of that clapping. Professor Baker, we love you. As we scroll through. I want to see all of the Zoom gallery as we go here. Give me a little bit of a wave, I think, so that I can see who's there. So good to see this. One more time. What happened to my class? All right, we are not done. Yet. We love you. Thank you. We love you.
uh, and to your amazing supporters that I heard down, there. Keep chiming in here, but we've prepared as you can see <laughs> to celebrate <laughs> 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 to honor all of the supporters for your effort, sacrifice, and most of all for your love. Yay! Oh, awesome. right, one more time.